tell me you are in Cambridge without telling me you are in Cambridge. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to Cambridge. I'm so excited, can you tell? Because I've never been to Cambridge before and the architecture there is just stunning. And we've been way too long in the lockdown, so it feels so nice to finally pack our bag and go on a trip. Cambridge is quite compact and it is less than an hour from London by train, which makes it perfect destination for a one-day trip. So we just parked our car and we have a couple of hours to spare before the check-in. So I think we're gonna go and wander around because there's so much to see in the city. You know me, I love trying new food, so I think we're gonna start exploring Cambridge by trying the famous Chelsea buns. Its Phyllis Bakery is a special one. It was established in 1920, so they celebrated 100 years birthday last year in October. They've been making buns and bread for a century now. They've seen two world wars, the Great Depression, competition from big supermarkets and two bankruptcies. And despite all of that, they're still here. Moving on to the Mathematical Bridge, one of the most famous landmarks of Cambridge. Rumor has it that it was built by Sir Isaac Newton and that it was built without any bolts or nails. However, this is no more than an urban legend. The bridge was actually designed by William Etheridge and built by James Essex in 1749. And iron spikes were used to hold the structure together. So here you go, now you know the truth. We've booked our pantsu for tomorrow morning too and there are 25 bridges or river camp and tomorrow we'll see some of them. This is one of the most distinctive public monuments in Cambridge, the Corpus Clock. This horrible monster sits on top of the clock and pulls time forward, eating it. It is so hypnotic, I can't take my eyes off of it. By the way, there is an inscription underneath the clock in Latin. Mundus transit et compusciencia eius meaning the world and its desires pass away and it is a great reminder that life is precious and you need to live every day to its fullest because it may be the last one. So we found this cute little hot dog stand and I have to say the hot dogs are really nice. It seems like the weather in the UK is making up for its bad behavior. For all those rainy days we had in May, it's plus 25. It's like a proper summer or more like a heat wave. Anyway, we fancy some gelato, so we came to Jack's Gelato to try the best gelato in Cambridge. Right next to Jack's Gelato stands this iconic pub Eagle. Watson and Creek were working in a lab just down the street and they've come here to announce they've discovered the secret of life. I'm talking about the discovery of DNA, of course. Also, from here you can see a St. Bennett's church. I believe it's the oldest church in Cambridge, I mean just the spire. 
and then it was time to check in into University Arms Hotel. So we've just checked in into our room. We stay in in a suite. It's so spacious, definitely what we need with two kids. And this is the view from our room. How nice. And on the right we have tea and coffee station and the bathroom. It's gorgeous. We have a shower here and this beautiful rolled bathtub. Oh my god, this room is insane. I'm speechless, you guys. I don't even remember the last time I had a bath. Oh, actually I do. It was in October last year when we stayed in the Brook Green Hotel. I'm a busy mom, guys. I only have time for a quick shower. So it's quarter to six now and we booked our table at Pakis Tavern for six o'clock. So we off to dinner and this is my outfit, just white t-shirt, linen blazer and a pair of jeans. Morning everyone, it's 5 a.m. and I woke up that early because I love exploring cities when everyone is still sleeping. So let's go and check it out. My mom, this is what I love about my morning walks. It's only me and this beautiful architecture.
Morning again, it's our day two in Cambridge. As you've seen, I've had an early walk this morning. Then we had breakfast and now we are off to the key side because we have a panto booked for 9.15. And that's my outfit for today. I've been eyeing these bikes for a while now, but unfortunately I'm not that good at riding a bike. So I guess it's a pass for now. Cambridge is famous for punting. Picturesque River Cam runs through its centre and we're about to have a 50 minutes private punting tour with Rutherford's boat agency. I think it's a very classic thing to do in Cambridge to have a tour in this flat bottom boat to see all its hidden spots because the only way to see the backs of the colleges is only by punting. And we're done with our tour. Kids, did you like the tour? Yes! yes. <laughs> did you like the tour? Me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so now I'm about to show you the best view in Cambridge. This is world famous panoramic view and to get to see it you have to climb 123 steps of the University Church Tower. From here you can see Market Square. This bustling market in the center of historic Cambridge dates back to the Middle Ages. Here you can find fresh fruits and vegetables, books, clothes and street food. The ticket price is £6 and with the view like this it's worth every penny. And this is the Department of Magical Gifts, Cambridge's only dedicated shop selling official Harry Potter merchandise. It is located on a rose crescent, which honestly feels more like a diagonal. Cheers! Mm. It reminds me of 
girls Fatih be I'll try it in uh, Warner Bros studio I guess so. it's kind of the same nice. and we're back to London already I really enjoyed this trip of course I would love to visit some of the colleges unfortunately due to restrictions we couldn't do it this time hopefully we'll come back when it's back to normal also i know there is some kind of weird competition going on between cambridge and oxford i've been to oxford many many years ago so i don't really remember anything from the trip but are you team oxford or are you team cambridge let me know in the comments anyway that's the end of our trip to cambridge and i want to say huge huge thank you to university arms hotel for having us such a lovely place to stay I hope you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more and I'll see you soon, bye!